Thank you very much for beautiful, long and difficult competition. What do you think about that? Well, I'm happy about the first place, about the decathlon in total. I'm not that happy actually. A few, a lot of events where I didn't perform as well as I could have, and uh, well, in the end I won. But it's kind of a shame that I missed the Olympic minimum because uh, of a few events that were unfortunate. Like uh, we had a headwind in the first series of 100 that was minus two almost, while the other series had a tailwind. So. I think I lost a lot of points there. Uh, no, I fell on the ground the first attempt. I landed in front of the pit, scary moment. And then um, second attempt, I blew through my pole. I had to take a heavier one. Third, it was a pole I never used before. But I cleared five meters easily. Then 510 as well, but 520. I had good attempts, but I landed on the bar. And then afterwards, the javelin, everything came down to that. And I, I had a good throw. And, and that, that's where I made the difference, I think. So, do you think there there would be a difference if there uh, that the German opponent Felix Noda is was not out of the competition after the hurdles? Uh, yeah, yeah, definitely. I think if he didn't fall fall in the hurdles, he would have won this hands down. Uh, I mean, he's a guy that can score over 8,003. He has already scored almost 8,003 this year. Um, so, if he was still in it, I think he would have won it. But yeah, that's the Catalan. There's so much that can happen. I had a few shitty events as well. I didn't get a zero, of course, like, like Jan Felix. But uh, it can't go well uh, at all events. And I think he, uh, he was very unfortunate with hitting that hurdle too hard. So what was the key moment? I mean, when did you start to believe that you can win this competition? And what does it mean to you? Uh, well, of course, I came here with some medal hopes. I mean, I scored almost 8,000. And that was uh, just a month and a half after I had the measles. I was sick for over a month um, so I knew I was in a good shape so I started with metal hopes but of course I knew Jan Felix was very very hard to beat and uh, after kind of a disappointing first day I, uh, I was hoping for a podium but then he fell out of the hurdles and I knew everything was possible and that's when I started thinking about yeah gold is maybe possible so your next plans and motivations well for the moment I think I, I broke the national record and I qualified for uh, Daegu probably, uh, it could be that the other Belgian guy that I just beat now goes over me again to go to Daegu because you have to score the B minimum uh, and I'm the highest one at the moment. Uh, so I hope for Daegu or otherwise it'll be uh, the university games in Shenzhen. Uh, but I'm hoping to go for that 8002 this year again. Great, thanks a lot.